My name's Jodie Curry. I'm a Yukonbear person from South East Queensland. My country goes from the Logan River to the Tweed River and out to McPherson Ranges. I, um, I'm a, I'm born and bred in Brisbane and I actually just grew, up, grew up on the north side of Brisbane and I'm currently the um, chairperson for Brisbane Aches, which is the oldest Aboriginal medical service in South East Queensland. I'm also a director of the um, Brisbane Indigenous Media Association, which I have been for about four or five years now. Um, I've done the AICD course and stuff, governance stuff. I've done lots of work across South East Queensland uh, with the um, boards of the Aboriginal Medical Services around governance reform. Um, so corporate governance stuff is, is yes yeah, part of what that it is that I do. I work at the Institute for Urban Indigenous Health as well. My name is Adrian Carson. I'm the CEO of the Institute for Urban Indigenous Health. I'm a cobble cobble man from southwest Queensland. Yeah, so the Institute's a community controlled organisation established in 2009. Um, owned by the four Aboriginal medical services of the region. So they're four of the oldest organisations in Queensland in the country um, that came together um, with a regional solution to addressing the, the complex challenges of closing the gap in urban southeast Queensland. I think for us it was a reality that um, the four organisations had a common challenge, this huge population growth, but also um, a huge kind of shift in government thinking and policy at the time, which was all about um, essentially mainstreaming healthcare for urban Indigenous populations under a false assumption that Indigenous people in urban areas didn't have health need, that a gap didn't exist, and most important, that community control health services didn't provide a, a value add. So those four organisations coming together with a regional solution, um, realising that what had been done in the past wasn't going to address the contemporary challenge and definitely wasn't going to put us in a good position to be able to continue the, the, the vision of community control and continue to expand um, our ability to, to address health needs in a huge, you know, the fastest growing parts of the country. There were some, some big challenges. I think um, big ones were confronted head on. I think we had a rule in South East Queensland where we said when the doors closed, we speak honestly and we address issues of trust and control directly. And so we kind of learnt that it wasn't until we had some fairly rigorous debate that we got people on the same page. Mm -hmm. It was um, a whole heap of nodding and kind of you know, shaking hands and signing agreements, but it wasn't until we actually had quite a couple in the early days, um, you know, dust-ups if you like, about exactly what the agenda was about. Because in order to achieve common goals, we had to individually um, surrender um, individual control and share that with each other. And developing trust was really important across those four organisations. I think all those four organisations were born from a single Aboriginal organisation in Aix, Brisbane. So back in 1973, Aix was established as the first Aboriginal medical service in Queensland, obviously in Brisbane. Over time, it supported the other three Aboriginal medical services to uh, develop their community control health services and enjoy their own autonomy. Then I think there was a bit of a threat that um, it was perceived by the other three organisations as a bit of a kind of reverse takeover. So we had to address that up front. And I remember the discussions like they were yesterday because they were really powerful. And there's a couple of slides that we continue to remind ourselves about you know, the point at which we came together, which was where we tabled these are the challenges and the opportunities. Do we, do we all agree this is what we need to be focused on? Well, then let's push politic and individual <coughs> issues of control and you know, CEO, you know. Um, interests um, aside, and let's focus on how do we collectively address these challenges because it was pretty obvious that not one of us individually could mm. without coming together. 